Hey, it's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 15 here at Bjorn Home. Uh, we were working on the trees here, trying to get some of them cleaned up, and we hit a great demand. Uh, I think it's for barley. Uh, yeah, it's barley at the grain elevator. So what I'm going to do, and I was, I was getting ready to start the harvest too, after we finished cleaning the uh, trees up. But we hit the great demand, so we're going to go for the great demand and get that sold. Let's see, back this up into here. Here we go. I don't even know how much we have. Yeah, we got over 200,000 liters of uh, barley, so. We're about to make some more money. We've already got 622,000. It's not like we're running short on it. We're going to meet the great demands. Now we have a truck to uh, transport the goods. So, that's what we're going to do. And the grain elevator's not far. I mean, it's just, it's right next to the farm, so. Not a, uh, not a big deal. I think we're going to get some cows this episode. We've got the equipment. Um, we have the the mixing wagon somewhere. Yeah, there it is. We've got our telehandler. Uh, and actually, I parked him up here. I uh, kind of wanted to see what it would look like to get up on this uh, crane and look over the farm. So that's what he's doing up here on the rocks. So we'll, uh, we'll get him later. Alright, let's take care of this great demand first, though. So. You know, the only thing about this trailer, you can't put a cover on it. There's no, uh, no option for that here. But that's okay. The big red trailer you can cover up, but... I really, you know, that it's an okay trailer, but I don't, I don't really like it. I'd rather have a, uh, a, uh, Wilson trailer. Uh, what's it called? I think it's called a Russell Trailer. Anyway, it's silver, kind of like this. Um, it's more what you see in the in the states here. Yeah, we'll get this uh, barley sold, and we'll get into some cows. It's it's we're it's time. We're we're ready to do it. We have the money. If you've got the money, honey, I've got the time. Alright, unload that. So we'll have a little extra money. That's pretty cool uh, animation, that little bulldozer thing in there. Pushing the green on out. Kind of spring loaded or something. I don't know. It's almost got the same kind of drive that you see like on log splitters. Matter of fact, that almost looks like a log splitter in there. <laughs> Alright, how do I get out of here? Let's see. These fences. Whoever built these fences should not have done so. Not a bad great demand, it's always really good when it's up at that grain elevator being so close. What at the wide turn. But yeah, as you can probably tell, we're gonna uh, get this guy going. As you can tell, we're going to put our uh, trees are in the way. We need to cut those. We're going to put our headers over there in that grass, I think. Get a little in cab here. Try 
this and see how it goes. You know that one rear view mirror up in the front doesn't work. The only one that doesn't. Alright, we're rolling. Yeah, I'm not going to cut these poplar trees right here either. Uh, if you watch our Selsnovka episodes, you'll know why. That turned into a uh, turned into a mess, and I tried doing it the right way, which is cutting all the limbs off of it. And uh, yeah, they're glitched. Some of them you can't pick up. Uh, so we'll cut the oaks and stuff like that, but not the poplars. Poplars are banned from uh, being cut. We did start cutting over there uh, the trees a little bit. Just so we could get to field 38 a little bit easier. Alright, let's get this offloaded here. I want to watch that animation again. I thought that was pretty cool. Boom. See, it pushes it out. Kind of unfolds that little bar in there. And then pushes it on back. Way out the rear. It's different. You know, the red trailer has like a belt system in it. And the other ones are... Uh, what's the right word for it? Uh, oh, I don't even remember what the right word is for it. Anyway, gravity. They use gravity to unload. That's the best explanation I can give you right now. Um, they tip up and they use gravity. I need to grind them stumps out out there. I haven't done that yet. Well, we're up to uh, 740,000. I think we made uh, just shy of 100,000 per two loads. And we have... Mm, one, two, maybe three loads left. Maybe just a little over three. Alright, let's see. You know, I haven't checked the uh, farming simulator thing today. Seems like every day they're coming out with something new, either a fact sheet or a uh, developer blog. Oh, look, they do have another one. Okay. This is for the Fent 300 Vario. Uh, it's a little, it's a smaller version of the larger Fent tractor. It's 138 horsepower. You can do a front loader attachment with it, which is pretty cool. It looks nice. And you know what? I'm looking at that. It's fact sheet number 11 if you want to go check it out. They have a green stole front loader now for it. That is awesome. It matches the, the tractor, the Fent tractor. Uh, and they may have the, the stole front loader now to where you can select any color you want, but... Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Right now, in in, uh, in this game, the only colors it comes in is uh, black and blue. Black and New Holland blue. So. Oh yeah, I forgot we had that small one there. 38 horsepower, not a whole lot you can do with it. corners here going through the grass. I shouldn't do that. It's down the road. I just wish we could plow those weeds under those bushes. You can't plow them. You can't cut them. I hope they don't have a lot of those in 17. Or at least if they do, you can plow them under.
So yeah, this is uh, this this fact sheet that they released today. Uh, you can tell when we recorded this. Um, and it looks like some kind of haystacker. Ar Arcusen four four stack something. It only holds three bales? Really? It's 25,000. I guess if you're just starting out, I mean, for smaller equipment, because this is a smaller tractor, so. That's, uh... That's interesting. They came out with a uh, equipment developer's blog and they went over some of the equipment that they're going to be having. Uh, if you go to their main website though, that's the interesting part, if you go to their main website, it uh, shows you know a, a big list of equipment that they're going to have in the game, but there's a lot of it that's still locked, like they haven't announced it yet. So it makes me wonder, you know, what 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 is it? What 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 kind of equipment do they have that they're not telling us about? Do they have a big new brand coming that they just haven't announced yet? You know, they're saving the good stuff for last. I mean, you know, in farming when 15 came out, you know, the trailers and announcements stuff like that, they didn't announce the pressure washer until like getting close to the end, I think. Um, and the pressure washer was a biggie. Uh, you know, dirty dirty tractors and the pressure washer. Um, they announced the logging, you know, right away. I think that was pretty much a given, though, since they came out with a DLC for it, or, or they were working on it there at the end of uh, of uh, 13. But what? I mean, I wonder what kind of equipment. I wonder, and you know, I'm take this with a grain of salt. It would be nice if they had John Deere. I'm just saying, it's a popular brand in America. Um, I don't know what John Deere's issue is. I know they're you know, I know they pretty much trademarked their logo, you know, and everything. I don't know what the, what the issue is, but they need to get on board because farming simulator is not going away. I mean, it's it's larger than it's ever been. It's getting larger. More people are finding out about the game. Um. So yeah, they need to uh, they need to get with the program. Hey, you know what would be a good idea for farm sim? Real location farming. I mean, you think about it. I mean, like, take an actual town that's agriculturally rich and make a map for it and put it on farm sim. That would be pretty awesome. I should do that. I may become a developer, y'all. We'll see how difficult it is first, though. Alright, how much we got left? We shouldn't have much left. We've got another load and so we had just a little over three three more loads left at that point. We're getting close. We're almost to a uh, million dollars. Nothing wrong with money though. We got canola ready to harvest too. So that's uh that's in the books. And uh, if you watched uh, Westbridge, I think we've pretty much decided just to uh, scratch the whole idea of the 25% on the bunkers deal and just fill them up. I mean, it's money that I mean it's gonna be a lot of money, yeah. But I mean we're working, we're cutting the chaff, we're putting it in the bunkers, we're compacting it and letting it ferment. I mean, we're earning the money, so there's nothing wrong with money as long as it's earned. See, I'm, I'm still I'm still skeptical on the whole uh, windmill solar panel thing because that's free money. I mean, I would understand if you uh, if you had to do something to it like, you know, keep it mowed around or something like that, but they don't they don't require that, so I'm not for just, you know, Easy money. I want to. I want to work for it. Uh, 
Alright, so how much we got left? 4,000 liters. Uh, um, I don't know. Should we come back for that 4,000? I guess we should. Go ahead and get it all under the great man. If it wasn't a great man, I'd probably leave it. But Let's see if I can turn this corner the right way. Look at that, I did it. I didn't cut through the grass. Y'all proud? Alright. Climbing the hill. I didn't see what we were getting per load. I guess it would be close to 50, maybe. Maybe 40 something. No, 58. Close to, closer to 60. So. Here goes a grain truck. I don't know if y'all can hear that in the background or not. A lot of grain trucks running now. This last little four here, and uh, we'll be close to uh, cutting this episode. Yeah, not too bad of a drive. The ones that really uh, are bad are when they go to the shipping office. Up there in that far left side, top top of the map. You get a great demand in there. And you know what, I'm just going to shake things up a bit because I missed my turn. I'm going to go back in this way. See how much we get for 4,000 later. Uh, what is that, 5,000? It's not bad. Oh, that's a fence. Okay. So, next episode, I'll meet you down at the uh, cow enclosure. And we'll get us some cows. Finally getting into animals. I'm really, uh, really excited about it. So, until then, remember you reap what you sow. This is Matt from the Grain Arcade.